The E. Jean Carroll defamation trial against Donald Trump has finally resumed, and it was fireworks right in the morning. Donald Trump showed up just as court was beginning to get started. E. Jean Carroll's lawyers, Roberta Kaplan, finished presenting the evidence in their case. They were showing Donald Trump's own statements, statements that Donald Trump had been making recently, statements that Donald Trump had made in his deposition. Let me show you this, for example. The jury got to see this clip where after Donald Trump said that he would not have raped E. Jean Carroll because she was not his type, Donald Trump was then shown a photograph with E. Jean Carroll where Donald Trump was in the photo, and Donald Trump thought that it was Marla Maples, his ex-wife, in the photos. He had to be coached by his lawyer, Alina Habba, that that's actually E. Jean Carroll. And then E. Jean Carroll's lawyer, Roberta Kaplan, went to Donald Trump. Well, would you say that Marla Maples and the woman you married are your type? So this deposition that I'm this portion of the deposition of Donald Trump taken in the E. Jean Carroll action was now just shown to the jury. Let's play this clip. And I'm gonna ask you, is this the photo that you were just referring to? I think so, yes. Okay. And do you recall when you first saw this photo? At some point during the process I saw it. That's uh, I guess her husband, John Johnson, who was an anchor for ABC, nice guy. I thought, I mean, I don't know him, but I thought he was pretty good at what he did. Um, I don't even know who the woman, let's see, I don't know who, it's Marla. You're saying Marla's in this photo? That's Marla, yeah, that's that's my wife. Which one, woman are you pointing to? No. That's Here. Carol. Oh, is that? The oh, person okay. you just pointed to was oh, Eugene Carroll. Who is that? <laughs> who is this? Point. And the person, the woman on the right is your then wife, I don't Ivana? know. This was the picture. Ivana. I assume that's John Johnson. Is that that's Carol? Because it's very blurry. Uh, what years were you married to um, your first wife, Ivana Trump? So, uh, about 78 to... the early 90s. Your... Um, your next wife was a woman by the name of Marla Maples. Right. And um, sitting here today, do you recall what years you were married to Ms. Maples? Um, I'd have to get the exact dates for you. I can do that very easily. You know how Donald Trump's been bragging also about the value of Mar-a-Lago being, oh, it's way more than what uh, the... A judge in New York claims it's valued at, even though the judge used Donald Trump's appraisal valuations, and that's how he came to the number between 18 and $27 million. But you know how Donald Trump's been saying, Mar-a-Lago, it's worth 100 times that. It could be worth $1 billion, $1.5 billion, or even more. Well, in the E. Jean Carroll defamation trial, they showed that video to the jury and Donald Trump making statements like that in his deposition, but statements like the one that um, you've been seeing here on the Midas Touch Network. Now, why would E. Jean Carroll's lawyers show the jury Donald Trump bragging about how rich he is and how valuable Mar-a-Lago is? Punitive damages. One of the factors is the defendant's net worth. And so if Donald Trump's saying that even Mar-a-Lago is worth billions and billions of dollars, E. Jean Carroll's saying, well, then the punitive damages need to have a proportion to how rich the person is. And here Donald Trump's claiming how rich he is. So Trump bragging about how wealthy he is being used against. And let me show you this clip right here of Donald Trump. Play it. Uh, she said that Mar-a-Lago, she convinced the judge that Mar-a-Lago was worth in Palm Beach, Florida, the most expensive land in the world, I guess, that, and the most expensive houses definitely in the world, that Mar-a-Lago, the biggest house, the most spectacular place in all of Florida, was worth $18 million, when it's worth approximately, could be close to 100 times that amount. 
And based on that testimony, and based on her convincing the judge that Mar-a-Lago was worth $18 million instead of a billion to a billion five, which would sell very easily, which we've already proven. Do you ever feel like money is just flying out of your account and you have no idea where it's going? Well, I know, it's all of those subscriptions. Think about it. Between streaming services, fitness apps, delivery services, parenting apps, it's endless. I'm guilty of this. So I use Rocket Money to help me find out what subscriptions I'm actually spending money on. And it was eye-opening and I had them cancel the ones I didn't want anymore. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills. I can see all of my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't want, I can cancel it with a tap. I never have to get on the phone with customer service. They'll even try to get you a refund for the last couple of months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members get this an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Midas Touch. That's rocketmoney.com slash Midas Touch. Rocketmoney.com slash Midas Touch. And uh, this deposition portion was then shown to the jury of Donald Trump's deposition. Question, why did you decide to issue the statement on your social media, on Truth Social, on October 12th? Trump's response, because I was offended at this woman's lie, because I was offended that she could just make up a story out of cold air, refuse, but that she can make up a story just out of nowhere, and that I get a phone call asking me about this ridiculous situation. The woman, there's something wrong with her in my opinion. Okay, but it's a false accusation. Never happened, never would happen. And I posted and I will continue to post until such time as then I will sue her after this is over. And that's the thing I really look forward to doing. And I'll sue you too, because this is how many cases do you have? Many, many cases. And I know the statements that were made that you made. Keep Trump busy because this is the way you defeat him, to keep him busy with litigation. So I will be suing you also, but I'll be suing her very strongly as soon as this case ends. But I'll be suing you also. And then uh, Roberta Kaplan, Eugene Carroll's lawyer says, uh, okay, are you done? And then Donald Trump says, yeah, yeah. So the jury seeing that Donald Trump continues to say that he's always going to defame E. Jean Carroll forever. And that's why Roberta Kaplan's going to tell the jury in the closing arguments, you need to have a verdict that stops Donald Trump from engaging in this behavior because he says he's going to do it over and over and over again. And then also the jury saw Donald Trump's statements that he made where he defamed E. Jean Carroll um, very recently um, at, at some of his campaign speeches. One of Donald Trump's things that he talks to those that go to his rallies about is uh, he defames the woman who he raped. That's the leader of the Republican Party. Here's what Donald Trump said, but in, this is what the jury gets to see. Let's play this clip. All done by political opera. Reed Hoffman is sponsoring this woman that said terrible things from 30 years ago. He took me, I owned three, four buildings around it. I owned the hotel next to it. I took her, a totally fabricated story. It's all fabricated. And the lawyer is a political operative. He used to be very close to Cuomo. Do you ever hear of Cuomo? And a political operative. Then you find out they fund it, and we had a special session on funding. When the judge found out that it was true that they're funding it, he wouldn't let it as evidence, but that's okay. It's also worth noting that there was another witness who was called uh, before those clips of Donald Trump were uh, given to the jury, and uh, you had a witness who used to work at L Magazine, Roberta Myers, uh, very short witness, um, didn't take that much time. And then uh, you had Alina Haba try to ask her about gossip. What kind of gossip did you hear? Which is like the ultimate form of hearsay. What was the gossip that you heard, Miss Myers? 
And then E. Jean Carroll's lawyer said, objection. And Judge Kaplan said, sustain. It's called hearsay. That's called hearsay. And then uh, Alina Habba tried to object to some of the other documents that were being shown. Um, uh, that uh, Roberta Kaplan was introducing some of those things I just showed you. And then uh, Alina Habba said, we are, we're objecting, we're objecting. And then the Judge Kaplan said, this just came in without objection. And then Alina Habba said, yes, but, and Judge Kaplan said, yeah, have a seat. Have a seat, Miss Habba. Keep you posted on today's developments. I'm Ben Micellas from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 2 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Have a good day. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.